My name is Raymond Pathanever Rangoon, and I'm a film producer. And I'm also, uh, I've done a many different things. I used to be a uh, uh, festival programmer for festivals such as um, Hong Kong, Toronto, and I was a consultant for the Cannes Critics Week, uh, many others. And also, I used to be the head of marketing and also doing acquisitions for uh, prominent sales agents uh, back in the 2000s, uh, early 2000s, called Fortissimo Films. And you know, uh, right now I also run a lab called CFIC, Southeast Asia Fiction Film Lab. So those are the kind of things that I've done. And I've been in the industry for about, wow, nearly 20 years uh, doing various things. Um, and in some ways I'm a bit of an accidental producer because I was doing all the other things. I know a lot of filmmakers and they just asked me, do you want to produce? And I said, I don't know what that means. And somehow I ended up producing, starting off really as an associate producer, then kind of doing two films as associate producer, became co-producer and then making my way up to a main producer. I'm still co-producing and the re most recent one I'm doing is uh, Ron Howard's 13 Lives, uh, which is ongoing right now. So in my time at CFIC and also, you know, helping to teach at other places, um, one of the things that I've noticed is uh, what I call the pathway for young filmmakers, which is that a lot of filmmakers get very lost, especially when they're starting out in their career. They don't know what to do. And sometimes they also make a lot of mistakes. And honestly, the first film is incredibly crucial for a director. The whole industry full of graveyards of first time filmmakers who never made a film again. So it's just so important that you survive your first film, you know what I mean? To be able to create a career for yourself. Your second film is also just as important. Usually if you've made two short films at work, things work out a lot better for you. But the thing is, you know, that gauntlet of having to compete with the first film, is, it's a huge amount of pressure and huge amount of responsibility. So I always say this is, well, if you want to make a film and people ask me all the time, like, uh, what do I do? The first thing I say is start with shorts. Why? Because one, you're a first time director. You have no idea what you want to do. You might be influenced by a ton of different directors. You might like Christopher Nolan. You might like Ho Xiao Shen. You know, you might like, you know, Sanjay Chit Ray. I don't know. Like you might like a lot of different kind of directors, uh, you know, and how do you decide what kind of film I as a director want to make? if you've never made anything. And to me, shorts are the best way to, decide, to, to you know, discover this because shorts are like playgrounds. This is where you're supposed to test things out, try to figure out what is it as a director I wanna be? What kind of film subject matters or the way that I shoot or the things I wanna do? Try to discover that for yourself. And guess what? As a short filmmaker, there's no penalty because when you make a bad short film, well, you know what, you could just pretend you never made it because it didn't work. It will never appear on your IMDb. If you make a first feature film, you bet that it will be on IMDb because your investors will want it to be on there. And somehow somebody's gonna find out, like a lot of times you don't have a lot of control over that and people know you've made a film. You can't just like wipe it away. Your investors will probably kill you first. I don't know. <laughs> but isn't it much better to have a decent idea of, okay, I think I kind of know what I want now before you start on a journey of making your first feature. And another thing that's so important with shorts is it allows you to travel. And traveling is an amazing thing because there's so many great short film festivals in the world. And of course, all the big ones have short sections, you know, Sundance, Berlin, Cannes, Locarno, Venice, Toronto, they all have you know, short film sections and you get to travel and you get to meet people and you get feedback. That is such an important part of a filmmaker because you get to see what other films are being made around the world, what other shorts are being made around the world. You meet your peers, you meet maybe also possible producers. There's been a lot of short filmmakers. Like I have, I know a film director from the Philippines who won the Silver Bear in Berlin and he didn't need to look for a producer. So many people come up to him and said, I love your film. Are you looking for a producer? That's if you're asking me, how do I find a producer? Start with shorts. So a lot of things goes back to that. Like, you know, look, why do you want to 
deny yourself of the opportunity to do these things. You know, they don't cost as much money at all. And you get to test things to figure out what you really want to be as a director. And you get to travel. And hopefully after traveling at festivals, you can start applying to international labs. Those are great experiences too, because if you have an idea for a feature, why not apply to some of these labs, test them out, see what the international experts say about it and develop in that way. There is no penalty because you don't have to write a script yet. You just go there in pitching labs to get some expert ideas. And sometimes they'll give you some really great feedback that you can use. And that's part of it because filmmakers need feedback. It doesn't matter if you're the most famous director in the world, you need to get feedback from people you trust. There's no such thing as an auteur who does everything 100% without anybody else's opinion. It doesn't work that way. Filmmaking is all about collaboration. It's all about teamwork. You are not an island. And so you need to work with people and getting feedback is one of the most important things. And I hope that a lot of filmmakers understand that, that going to different labs, going to different festivals is the best way to get feedback. And that's how you grow as a filmmaker. And that's why to me, shorts is the foundation. But more importantly, if you wanna get funding, if you wanna get international funding, if you want to go to festivals and you have a fiction lab, I mean, if you have a fiction script, who's gonna give you money if you've never made a short? You can make the best possible script in the world. It doesn't matter because we're not optioning your novel. It's a film, it's not a novel. A script is like a novel, it's just a bunch of pages. It's about filmmaking. And if I can't see that you can direct, why would I basically even bother to give you money, right? And instead you're using your own money to make a film. You know, I, I personally, as a producer, I don't put money into my own films. Why? Because if I do, it means that I am not a good producer because I can't convince other people to put money in it. <laughs> That's not a job of a producer. And it's not a job of a director as well to put their own money into their films. I mean, you can if in emergency circumstances, it's understandable because sometimes things happen. Film, filmmaking is so difficult to gauge, so many disasters, so many things change. And sometimes you realize, oh no, I need extra money. And sometimes you have to do these things, that's fine. But the thing is you don't do it blindly. So you need to start off with films. You need to see that you can work as a director and it starts at shorts. Most filmmakers who made their first film make between four to seven short films in their lifetime. You know, and that's, that's a pretty good average. It doesn't always mean that you have to, but that's you know, what I've seen is usually that's the number. And that's the thing. If you apply for international funds without shorts, nobody is going to basically give you the money. You're not going to go anywhere with it. Don't even bother. <laughs> in fact, it's worse if you do that because most funds or even co-producers or producers that you might be interested in working with, they will only read your script once. They will only consider your project once. If you've submitted it to them without good foundations, like you've been to labs, you have short films we can watch, they will look at it and they will never consider you again. And that's such a sad situation that you just robbed yourself out of these opportunities because you just didn't know better. So please start with shorts. 